Well, here we are, believe it or not, the last couple days of June, and it's been a great June. We've been talking about that, and it's continued. We have seen the best load counts this month we've seen for, for months, uh, better load counts than last June. So that's great to see. Thank you all for providing that great safe service, allowing us to get additional loads from our customers. And it takes an entire team effort. We know that from you know, sales teams working with the customers to bring on additional loads. Obviously, our operations team working then with those contacts to get those loads booked. Uh, dispatchers uh, getting planners getting those out there through dispatch through your asset manager obviously you picking up and delivering uh, maintenance team having good equipment for you and then a lot of things happen after you deliver that load from you know payroll to pay uh, to getting paid by the customer just a great team effort we're seeing a great um, again great service to our customers so thank you thank you thank you uh, the timing's great too because we're coming to the end of the quarter and that means quarterly bonus is hitting i was downstairs and i know i talked to a couple drivers already hit their bonus so congratulations to those drivers that are out there we should have a strong weekend we got really good weekend load counts to get you through and hopefully those of you who are really close uh, to get you that quarterly bonus it's been a busy week for Eric and me too. Eric is still out visiting customers. I was out visiting customers, made it to the Statesville terminal as well. Great to see the team there. That, as I said in the, in the Facebook post that we put out there, the YouTube, uh, excuse me, not YouTube, uh, some of those other social media channels, that is a hidden gem. It's just a great terminal. It's not one of our bigger ones, but very nice facilities, great parking, it's quiet. Uh, so if you're in that area, stop in and see the team there, have a great place to park and some great amenities for you. You know, our customers that we're visiting are saying, hey, things are steady. Uh, they expect a good steady summer in July. Uh, and then again, hopefully as we get into that fall, we see that fall peak. I think there's some cautious optimistic about that, optimism about that. So hopefully we continue to see, you know, the, the strong things we're seeing in June here flow over to the rest of the summer. Now, with that, at the beginning of a month, uh, we, you know, we always have the end of month push and then a little bit slower the first few days. This month, as you know, uh, we're coming into July, so not only will we have that kind of beginning of the month hangover, we'll have that 4th of July holiday. Falls on a rough day this year, as you know, Thursday. That means we're gonna have a lot of shippers that are closed on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I know some of those uh, receiving hours, we'll make sure that we know who's receiving, we'll know who has loads there ready for us to pick up, even though they may not be open. We'll coordinate that and the ops team will do the best they can uh, to have all the freight for you during that holiday for those of you who will be out and running. You know, with respect to that holiday, I know a lot of you are going home. So remember, please communicate, communicate, communicate uh, with your asset manager. Make sure they know when you're going home, uh, where you'll be, uh, and then when you'll be coming out of the house, we can have that load ready for you. Make sure you know where you're parking that trailer. Uh, we want to make sure we're parking it at a shipper. So hopefully it's getting loaded or at one of our facilities. Uh, so those that may be T calling, dropping, in, and then pick, need another trailer for a pickup, we have that available. I know there's a few of you, depending on where you live, we may still ask you to. Uh, uh, take that empty trailer home with you. Uh, but for the most part, make sure we're, we're parking it in places where we can get freight. If you're going home with the load, remember, use all your locks. Uh, you know, that rear door lock, along with your kingpin lock and your air brake valve lock to make sure, you know, 4th of July, unfortunately, is one of those holidays that we do see across the country more thefts. So don't be a victim uh, and be smart about that. As a reminder, next week too, uh, with 4th of July being on a Thursday, that's typically your day for your paycheck. Um, so I know some of you, it won't impact. We send uh, obviously the payout uh, to all the banks for your direct deposit uh, on Wednesday. Some of your banks will still post that on Thursday, even though it's a holiday. Some don't post it to Friday. So if you check that on Thursday uh, and your pay hasn't posted, it's more than likely that your bank doesn't post on Thursdays and you'll see that uh, on Friday. A quick look at June again from a safety perspective. You know, we've been talking all month. We've been having a good month. That has continued. In fact, as of right now, uh, knock on wood here, uh, we're having our best June for all preventable accidents uh, in the last three months. So be safe. Let's continue to do that. Let's make it through the month here for the next couple of days and have the best June. One of the things we're seeing more this month that we haven't seen is some more bent fairings. So as you're backing in, uh, making some of those tight turns, whether it's at a you know, truck stop, shipper, receiver, make sure you're paying attention and you don't uh, you know, crank it too hard. Struck fixed objects, again, continues to be our highest uh, incident of preventable accidents. So be smart here. Don't lose that bonus I talked about these last couple of days. Get out and look. Unfortunately, this week, we also had a driver hit a low bridge. We don't have that very often. Again, totally preventable. Make sure you're paying attention to your routing. Make sure when you see that sign that says low bridge, you believe it. Uh, we had, unfortunately, those situations where drivers, there's a sign there, 
They say they saw the sign and yet they still went. Be smart about it. Don't lose that bonus there either. CSL, CSA, it's been a great month too. We continue to have a great month. A couple little reminders there. Don't forget to certify your logs. And again, on the maintenance side, with the heating up, make sure you're watching your tire inflation. We actually had a truck fire this week because a driver had too low of a tire uh, on the drive, on the tractor drive. Um, it actually overheated because it was uh, underinflated and started on fire. So that's very important. Don't forget to check your tractor tires. And again, with the holiday out there next week, there's gonna be a lot of traffic. So please be patient. Make sure you're watching your speed and space. Don't get frustrated when we got all those four wheelers that are out there on vacation bobbing and weaving in front of you. Just make sure you're being patient, giving them that speed and space. Finally, for workers comp this month, we're actually doing really well. Uh, this is one of the months where we actually see some increase typically in our shop with our shop personnel having some minor injuries. A lot of that's due to sweaty, slicky, slick hands. Uh, we're doing very well in the shop too. So thank you all to our shop team members for paying attention uh, and staying safe. Another quick topic here is OS&D. You know, overall, we have very low counts of OS&D uh, with all our drop and hook out there with all of our great customers. But when we do see some OS&D out there, we've got a great team in our risk management call center that manages it really well, tries to get you moving as fast as you can working with our customers. But just a tip on this too, if you actually follow all the load instructions when you are picking up at the uh, receiver, or excuse me, at the shipper, uh, you can avoid some of the things that happen on the other end. Because sometimes there's load instructions out there that say, hey, you have to have a particular number for the receiver, or you got to be able to make sure you can do X, Y, and Z when you get there. If you're at a shipper, you look at those load instru instructions and something doesn't look right within what's happening uh, at the dock, uh, ask. Ask the shipper uh, if they're not able to help you. Call into RMCC uh, before you leave. Let's get all those things cleared up before you leave uh, and avoid that OS&D. So a lot of things this week. Sorry, I got a little long-winded long there, but uh, for those of you who may be going home and, I, and you don't hear our weekly video before uh, the 4th of July next week, I just wanna say happy birthday, America. Thank you for everything you do to make 4th of July happen for everybody else out there. You know, it's a big celebration. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, get togethers, a lot of food that's going on out there, a lot of fireworks out there. And if it wasn't for trucking, if it wasn't for each of you uh, every day, the rest of us wouldn't be able to celebrate the 4th of July uh, the way we do. So thank you very much. Uh, have a safe week and have a very happy 4th of July.